when you target crappies, sometimes bite windows open up and you see the biggest fish in the lake all together and you are able to catch them all. And when it goes down and you get those giants, it is absolutely f***ing incredible. So it's definitely not a basketball Oh, that's oh. her, baby! Oh my god, oh my god. Yo, dude, dude, dude. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but this is nuts. Whatever this is, I like it. I like it a lot. We're back on them. This place is going ballistic right now. Big. I don't know what's going to happen today, but this is magical already. I mean, everyone has those days where you just go out and it might not be the best weather conditions, but you can at least get yourself on top of fish. And there's those days that you have where everything seems like it should go right and it just doesn't. And those days can be the most, I mean, they can be just downright ugly yeah so i mean it's frustrating for us but it's frustrating for the the normal angler and it's not like we're some superstars or anything we just you know we have a passion for crappie fishing we're just a group of guys who really like chasing really big crappies and um we're kind of obsessed with it we've spent a lot of time doing it and we've been really fortunate to get into some really amazing stuff but at the same time we have these stretches we have days even in the middle of you know when we're really feeling like we got it dialed that it's just not the it's just really not coming together. The puzzle pieces don't align the way that we're hoping and maybe you get dealt a weird deal with some weather or conditions or something like that. But uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, for every day that we've been able to show or put out an episode, there's 10 behind it that something didn't work out or we didn't get on them. So, you know, realistically, we try to show as much of that as we can. I mean, nobody wants to see a ton of episodes where we're just out there drilling holes, yelling at each other. So we're trying to avoid that as much as possible, but we get our teeth kicked in too. Uh, I think it happens to all fishermen and really that's what makes you better is how you react to that, how you uh, deal with a slump, how you get out of that rut. You just kind of have to push through those days. You got to forget about those days and you got to remember the days where you absolutely crack them and it's an amazing bite because remembering those days keeps your mindset in the right place, keeps, you know, as the Bassmaster Pro Gerald Swindle says, PMA, positive mental attitude. That's what it's all about, so. It, it can be really defeating and, um, you know, we can be vulnerable with all of you about that sort of thing. It, it's just bites tough and um, we put it all out there and yeah, we're trying our best. I can promise you that. This means a lot to us, so. And I think that's why, you know, it gets even more frustrating is when something means that much to you, th this series means a lot to all of us. Uh, as much as, you know, some of us say it does or others are, you know, more to themselves. Um, th this means a lot to all of us and all of you mean a lot to us, so. You know, you just gotta keep at it and keep persevering and, you know, you will eventually, the bite will eventually pick up. The dog days of winter, the tough days, those are the days that make you a better fisherman. Those are the days where you have to really look at the little things and the little successes. Um, and we've had quite a few of those days recently. So uh, it, it's just one of those things that you're gonna go through with fishing and you know, keeping that positive attitude is the best thing you can do for yourself. Yeah, I mean, just keep your head down and just keep at it. When anglers think of trophy fisheries and dream destinations, most think of untouched locations far away from civilization, but not us. Located within 60 miles of downtown Minneapolis is a mecca of crappie fishing opportunities. These waters are home to the biggest crappies across the ice belt, and maybe even the Midwest. Our goal is simple, to document the catch and release of as many trophy caliber crappies as possible in one ice season. Along the way, we hope to educate you on how to catch the biggest crappie of your life.
Joining me again this season, two of the best ice fishermen in the country, Adam Griffith and Matt Waldron. With the help of wild game cook, Brian Pinkala, we will also show you new and creative ways to prepare fish like you've never seen before. The ice season is here and we're ready to rock. Welcome back. This is season two of the Crappie Chronicles. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Crappie Chronicles. Uh, I'm your host, Adam Bartusik. Today is Saturday, February 19th, I believe. And um, yeah, thank you everyone for all the support so far. It has been a long midwinter blue season, and I'm happy to report that I think we're finally out of it. Uh, we had a giant front blow through yesterday, some really severe winds. Today, going to be beautiful out, pretty nice. Sunday, pretty beautiful out. And uh, early next week, giant snowstorm. So it's like that late ice feel, you know. It's starting to get big snowstorms. Ice is starting to melt. Um, it's starting to get warm. Days are getting longer. And the bite will pick up. So we're going to go get on the road. Thank you, everybody who's been buying the Crappie Chronicles merch. We still have some on the website. So... If you want to go grab some, we appreciate all the support. The more sweatshirts you buy, the more videos we can make. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go meet up with Waldo. I'm going to go have some fun. We are out on the lake. Um, I am with Waldo. Pinkal is coming, and our buddy Adam DeMarkey is coming out too. And um, Griff is guiding right now. He might be joining us later today. It honestly depends if we find him or not. But as you can tell, blistering sun out here today. Um, it is supposed to get cloudy later. Pressure is going to drop. There's a bunch of different stuff going on this weekend. But the biggest thing is we're on a brand new lake. I haven't fished this lake probably in about 15 years. Um, and Waldo's never been here, so, yeah, it should be fun. I mean, one thing that is nice is there's a lot, there's a decent amount of people out here at their permanents, and when I drove by here the other day, there wasn't very many permanents here, so something's going on out here right now, so hopefully we're here at the right time. Wow, dude, I just had one knock like a foot and a half of slack. I know. I might have to just go to a tungsten to get away from the spoon. Oh, I got my first one. This one doesn't feel bad. Not terrible. Waldo and I have ran into our first school pretty quickly, actually. We're pretty happy about it. The little guys so far, but they are very aggressive. Uh, much more aggressive than we anticipated them being this morning because uh with i mean bluebird skies and high pressure it's not generally the best but these guys are just freaking suicidal right now it's actually hard to hook them Fuck that one. <laughs> they're hitting it so hard it is absolutely hilarious ah, that one I mean, nice quality eaters. So we're gonna sift through these guys for a little bit, and we're gonna see 
if there's some bigger ones in this school or if we need to just target a whole different school that's kind of what we're trying to figure out right now we haven't been here so we haven't been here in a long time so i don't know fisheries change we'll see what's going on i'm gonna get plowed again oh, missed him they hit it so hard it's so hard to actually get a hook in them all right we're gonna try something else the spoon's got them all fired up, but it, I don't think it's the best way to actually hook them. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna try a drop XL. I don't think it'll matter. I think it'll hook up better though. Got him. Ooh, real little guy. Another one. Got it choked. There we go. All right. Good start to the morning. Just smashing them. No big ones yet, but way better bite than we've seen lately. Might as well. It's a new day. Down jigging. You had to down jig them? They just meet me. Oh, God, I missed him. Dude, look at my screen. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is so stupid. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put a Tikaman on because I'm going to miss them all because they're going to hit it so hard. I just wish one of these marks would stay one or one fish. All right. I mean, these things are just ridiculous. This is so much fun. They're not big, but after the last however many weeks of not catching anything, they're amazing. This is just awesome. Yes, 100%. And the best part is they'll like disappear from your Vexilar. And, and then you drop, drop down. It back down, and it's just they're <laughs> right back. <laughs> they're so stupid this is so fun guess what they come right back <laughs> this is the way ice fishing is supposed to be <laughs> he's so little my plastic's so messed up right now and i just don't think it matters at all they're so just fired up it is unbelievable oh yeah my plastic's currently sideways <laughs> actually this one this might be a big nope there's a lot of heart Dude, they're so thick. They are. They're. See why, uh, they're unreal. This is this is awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they just freaking fly in. Oh, there's a white. Oh, we might be around bigger fish. Nice white crappie. That's our first white today. Generally, um. That's a really good sign normally. Normally it means you're around bigger fish. So. Why you may ask? I don't know, but there's enough correlation with the theory that We've had it happen whenever we find white crappies mixed in with blacks, that's generally when we get our bigger ones. We just got a white, so oh, that's a shit. good sign. Still just cookie cutter nine inches, but unreal. I uh, I actually switched up. So this is the Mackie Minnow XL. Waldo and I were just talking about how much they're absolutely slamming it and they just mess up your plastic. 
So I just went with something big and bulky so it stays on the hook and they really do not care. That's the best part. So yeah, they don't. <laughs> like this is a little one and he did not care at all. I think this is actually a little hybrid, but. It's pretty bright out. I'm glad we got the sunglasses on right now. Speaking of that. Speaking of that, there is a 20% off. I think it's TCC20. Is that right? Yeah, you can get your own shades. Yeah, you but can get your own shades. But how, how's the fishing been? Uh, it's actually been really, really good. Uh, they're moving around quite a bit, so it's been hard trying to stay on top of them. But there are so many schools of fish that it doesn't take long before we get back on top of them. And once we do, I mean, they're absolutely coming unglued. Um, it's almost hard using a bait with treble hooks because they're hitting it so hard and it's knocking the hook out of the way, it seems. So um, I might have to put the pinhead down and then go over to like a drop kick. Uh, I was using one a little earlier with the Chunky. It's a new plastic that I haven't tried out a whole lot, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So um, it's pretty much a crawfish bait or almost like a beaver style craw bait that you would use on like a, a bass jig. Um, but uh, it's a very small one for, uh, you know, your, your tungstens um, for jig and plastic combinations. But uh, so far it's been working actually really, really good. I've been very happy with it. So. Uh, we're gonna keep bouncing around here. Uh, right now we've been slamming eaters. Bart lost a good one. Um, and yeah, Pink's here now. What's up? I just showed up. These guys already sounds like they've been catching them like crazy. And I just got here. I literally dropped on one time and I caught one. So the school just left me, which sucks. But I think we're gonna hop around a little bit because as soon as I dropped down, there was like 50 freaking fish on my screen. They all came up and like five of them hit it and didn't get it and then one just inhaled it down its throat and i caught that one and it was like nine inches so i just want to find a big one we're gonna get some big ones today i got a good feeling yeah at least they're snapping dude yeah Breaking first right. time in a while they're snapping got him Another little one. They are down there waiting though. It's not bad. Nice black one. Uh, we did not realize how clear this lake was. Um, looking at satellite and the DNR website, it looked like it was pretty dirty, but it must have turned over really hard this year. So uh, there's like 10 foot of clarity out here and no snow. And one thing we've learned this year, super clear bodies of water, high sun, probably not the best daytime bite. So we're gonna bounce to another lake that we know is dirty. Uh, we filmed on it earlier in the year, Bark got a big one. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see how that one goes. Uh, maybe come back here, you know, when it's gonna be lower light. Hopefully see if uh, those fish just kind of either stay put or really just uh, group up into one area. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a little lake hopping here. So we're gonna be moving to the next one right now. <laughs> Perfect eater. Beautiful white crappie. On the pinhead. Yeah, I know, he came on my screen. 
Big. 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 You all right? Feels good. Not bad. Well, it's definitely not a basket. Oh, that's her, baby! Oh. <laughs> that's freaking her! It has been a long time since we've seen that's one like that. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! 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 let us go let us go God, Another 15 er Well, look how tall it is, Joe. That thing's a skyscraper. Two pound, one ounce unit. We're gonna get her back. These are really important to keep in the lake. Let's see here. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, baby! And we just got here, so hopefully this is just the start of uh, something really good. If not, it has been a month since we've seen a fish that big, so couldn't be more happy. Now we take advantage of an awesome bite window. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, they just showed back up, dude. Yep. Odd. Not small. B1. Let's play that game today. Let's play that game today. Came in, nice suspended mark, dude. It feels good. Oh, yeah, tanker. Boom! <laughs> Big white! Come on! Look at that thing! Back to back. Yes! Back to back drops. We literally just released all them all, the though. fish left after we pulled his out, and then I had two marks come in. I dropped down, freaking vapor trailed up, rocked. This one is not quite as big, but it is an absolute horse. Let's see, a 15 and a quarter. 15 and a half. 15 and a half. It's longer. It is not as deep, though. But look at that thing. Pinhead minnow, yoinked it. Look at that thing. A month of nothing. Dude, <laughs> and we've been two getting bees. the rottled, and then back to back drops. Two of the biggest fish of the whole freaking year, right there. Look at that thing. It's as long as my freaking forearm. Let's weigh this beast. I don't think this one's gonna be two, but it could be. Right. <laughs> one fifteen. One ounce off. But almost two back to back two pounders. That is sick. Fifteen and a half. Yes, maybe. dude. All right, we're gonna get this one back and get back down there. It seems like there's at least a pot of these giants roaming right in this area. All right, so two back-to-back -back beasts, and the biggest thing is we finally timed things right. We played conditions perfectly. We were on that other lake, knew things were off, knew it was wrong, came here because when I caught my big one here, it was the exact same type of day. So we came back here and immediately rewarded with a 15 and a half and a 15 and a quarter. And we've been here for all of four minutes. And the wind is pumping right now. Wind like is it's... pumping, clouds are rolling in, pressure is plummeting. Yeah, we're right in the middle of a pressure drop. It's supposed to bottom out tomorrow, but it's tipped down. We're already dropping. It's already like just over 30 with the pressure, but they're right. I don't know what's going on, but this is nuts. Two more things like that. Whatever this is, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that is a brick, dude. 15, 15 and a half. half. <laughs> Boom. Just over, look at that. Just over 15 and a half. Oh Just my god. Dog. Beautiful white crappie. <laughs> Let's get some pictures of that one too. It has been such a grind the last couple months. We've been working our asses <laughs> off. Look at the shoulders on that fish. Two, three. Two, three? Two, three, baby. That's the heaviest one I think we've weighed all year. Besides Griff's big one on the backwaters. That is an absolute unit of a crap. Look at the mouth compared to your hand. Yeah, the mouth is just, just absolutely insane. monster. But we've been working our is off and finally things are starting to go right we got some warm weather you know oh my gosh we're in good spirits now this is absolutely <laughs> awesome i'm gonna get back down there white 16th ounce pinhead minnows have been absolutely getting it done for us oh my gosh yeah this has been uh absolutely ridiculous this is why you do it 
This is why. This we literally this five about. minutes is. <laughs> this is nuts. Yeah, this is insane. Well, I'm glad we're seeing what the potential of this place actually is. Oh wow, you missed it. You're big. Was it like a foot off bottom? Yep. Okay. Shut up. Got him. Big. I mean, Hold on, I, got a, I got another one. Coming potentially, right now. but it's bit. Oh! You lose him? Yep, yep, yep. We lost him. Oh, dang it! That was like you guys said. You were just jigging, and a foot off the bottom just yep. up on it. Oh, dang it! Dang it! Dang it! That hurts. Dump. Small. Well, you know. Eater. Nice eater. After hooking those big ones, you can tell when they're not giant, but it's a good little eater one. It's like they're just waiting for this thing to come back down. Hooked up. Another eater. Sweet. That pinhead is just doing it to him. Same one, that white and glitter one. It's the freaking deal, baby. Yeah. I like that we could thaw one out. Big? Oh, yeah. All right. Coming. He annihilated it. Just slid right in. Dude, there were like five of them. Really? Literally. All the same size. Watch out. Watch out. I can't see right now. but we're back on them. This place is going ballistic right now. 14, 14 on the nuts. No, that's fine. We're gonna keep chasing them. We are in a heck of a bite window. Look at how built that fish is. Big old forehead on it too. Just giant. All right, we're gonna get this one back and I don't know what's gonna happen today, but this is magical already. I don't know how big, but it's doing the right things. I think I it is. Know. I hope it is. There it is. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, another big white. Big white. Waldo. <laughs> All right, just scored another one on the pinhead. This one is not as big. That's probably a 13. Another white one, though. Super sick. I'm just going to get that one back right away. The school kind of left me, and then just one came back. Beef. Absolutely. We're on the right ones today. Yeah. It's happening. It's happening. Baby. See ya. Sick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, dude, 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 dude. Yes, 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 yes. Got it, got it, got it. This is, if this is a copy, this is it. Dude, that was the biggest mark I've ever seen in my life. I thought it, I thought it was too, I thought it was too bitch. down there. Oh, that one I lost is gonna hurt me for a while.
feels like a big gill. Nope, oh, crappy. It's like a 10 incher. At lucky number 13. That's yeah, right. lucky number 13, we're back. Well, I didn't catch any big ones today. Waldo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was unreal. It, was, yeah. it started off, I mean, we've been trying to keep morale high and just working really hard, and the last month has just been brutal. But uh, It felt good to finally... Stars yeah. aligned. Yeah, it we, was nice. We ran into the right school at the right time. They were all eating, and that it just went haywire. Yep. Um, Definitely a morale boost. I mean, still didn't get the main objective. We didn't get the main objective, but we got three of our four biggest fish of the year. Which was huge. In one night. <laughs> so that, that really, I mean, boosts the morale, gets the hopes up. And, and I'll, yeah. I mean, the sad thing is, I may have hooked the one today, but they're starting to eat better. So that's, that's what matters, and we're going to get back after it tomorrow. You lose some, I'm going to try to make sure I don't lose the next one. But, uh, yeah, to pinheads it's now. good. <laughs> yeah, we're sticking to pinheads. I'm changing out some hooks. But, uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Thank you, everyone, for the support. Thank you for grinding with us kind of during the slow episodes. We're going to get back after it tomorrow, and yeah. we're getting towards the late ice, and there's good things to come. So thank you. Subscribe, like, do all the normal stuff, and uh, we're on to the next one. Boop.